Hello everyone, this is Zycox and welcome to my... I'm not, I don't know if this is gonna, going to be a long series, but to Let's Play Phosphor. And what is Phosphor? As you can see, it is a kind of a sub-mod of Perisno, and is, it is also a merge of Perisno with the, the other mod that is less well-known, Regal. And that is still very good. And the merge of Perisno and Regal is actually um, still continuing as Regal. Um, well, Regal originally a mod from Cernanals. Um I've played the version 0 0.10 a little bit and it is really really interesting. It has a lot of very fun aspects like party, like uh, a more um, vast party skill system as well as guilds a guild system that is like really really fun and um, yes and a certain other really genius coder by the name of G Sanders has seen fit to uh, help out with Regal a little bit and has even gone far as far as merging Perisno with Regal and Phosphor is kind of like his own vision of how he would merge, uh, how he would use a Perisno Regal merge with his own ideas. So without further ado, let's check how the game looks. Um, yes, uh, no. <laughs> what is this? This was a yes, a little test character that I did just to see if it was working. Yes, so here we are. This is all f familiar for those of you who have played Perisno. I have played Perisno 0.73 uh, and yes, so I'm very curious what is going to be new and I'm going to play a human female um, Hmm. No, no, I'm going to play a male and... Elven males are almost very boring. If you know Perisno. Um... Alright, okay. Well, we are here testing how the game looks like. So, I will... Try to play a very smart fighting warrior. Um, hmm. Ah, let's just go with what I usually do a human female who is really, really smart and. Charismatic, and this is what what you may know from Regal. Uh, Perisno has already borrowed a few, and Phosphor it seems has well a much bigger list. And as you can see um, here, the guilds and skills of Regal have already been implemented. That is excellent. And what is new in Phosphor also is that you have. Yet you can get an elephant. That is, of course, very interesting. And the ability to ride it. That should be something for me. But I want to go for a lot of skills at Charisma and Intelligence. Because I like to have a very smart, sexy heroine. And as you can see, ooh, I, got, I have a book with Trainer that is actually really good. It is my favorite book to have I start with a lot of inventory management that is of course very nice uh, even though I personally do not usually go for it so pathfinding and 
probably first aid will be important because the first thing I want to do is to look for companions. And as you can see, um, persuasion is really, really high. And oh, we can have firearms here. Well, as I said, I have not played. Um, I have not played Perizno a lot, so I don't claim to be an expert. Let's see what awaits me. So I will need a foxy name for the lady. Uh, hmm. What name? Oh gosh, this is this should not be part of this video. So I will just pick one um, quickly. Savina. I'm going to go with Savina. And then we will see what is going to happen. And uh, that's a very beautiful. Those are beautiful faces. Oh my gosh. Actually, I think I should. I would want to play a man just so I can marry a girl who looks like that. <laughs> okay, too late. Um, yes. So. This looks. Much better for uh, for a girl who starts on the road. Yes. And what are these sliders? Okay, they do nothing. Okay. You hear about Perizno, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy. A haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even great opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that, whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn, drawn by the stories you hear about Paris and its kingdoms, you... You... So, um, what I do know is that the kingdom of Taurania is like an offshoot of the kingdom of Sarleon. Uh, wait, that's <laughs> Prophecy of Penda, which I've just been playing recently. Um, the Swadia, kingdom of Swadia. So classic English knights, if you so will, or well, German knights. And then we have the the, the Reich des Drachen, which is German for like the realm, the kingdom of the dragon. And yes, in a more tundra like territory, but very much unlike the Kingdom of Vagir, they have powerful knights as well and special knights. And yes, and the Drahara Desert Nation is similar to the Serenid, and they do get elephants, and they can be. Well, every, every nation is quite good and interesting, and the Makavian Republic is something like the Nord faction, if I am not entirely wrong now. Hakon Empire is also like Serenid. No, the, the Drahara is like Kyrgyz, and the Hakon is like Serenid. Yes, that was it. The Redwood Nation is actually Elven. The Elven Kingdom with super archers and super swordsmen as you can all imagine the elves to be. A little bit overpowered if I remember it correctly from my short play of 0.73 Perizno, but let's see how the special merge of Perizno with Regal is and especially the Phosphor version. So we will go with uh, Hakon Empire. You came with a caravan crossing the great desert to the east of Perizno. The Bedouin guides chose your route carefully, leapfrogging through treacherous dune fields and across empty gravel plains to low-lying oases rich with orchards and date palms. 
Your great fear was that the, caravan, that the caravan might lose its way and perish of thirst. The small bands of raiders who hover just out of bowshot, waiting to pick up stragglers, were oddly a comfort. At least, water could be no more than a day's ride away. It was a great relief when the mountains came into view, and in, on the evening of the following day, you crested a rocky pass, and in the distance you could make out the sea and the towers of Amama silhouetted against the sunset. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in a mama and fall asleep quickly. However, you wake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture onto the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade slicing, sliding <coughs> from its scabbard. And, ooh, this is actually from Serenade, from Native. And, ooh. Okay, that's how a frail, beautiful girl like me can be it abandoned. Oh, you're right. Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night, and although heaven knows, he won't be the last. Anyway, might you, you, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. Okay, I don't need to read everything. This is from... A very familiar quest from native and I will I will just do it I will I could use the beginning denars and oh yes this is the Perizno map and as you can see fog of war is on so actually I see practically no towns that is actually a bit of a problem since I'm not perfectly familiar with the entirety of the Parisian map and as you can see what is new is that we have these hunting areas fertile areas where you can use your skills and if you check the camp you will see a lot of new options and what I want to do this is actually not this is actually from Parisian And uh, okay, so game settings what enable battle continuation of course and let's just leave that the rest should be okay. So let's see what is new here. We can see review your special skills and you can see that there are Crafting skills, smithing, cooking, woodcrafting, leatherworking, tailoring, mining, hunting, herboristry. And if you don't know what this is supposed to be, it's actually from French. It's supposed to be herbalism, uh, lumberjacking, fishing. And then we have strategic skills like camping, wandering, ambushing, sneaking, bard, shama, shaman, medic skills, and skinning skills. Oh, that is pretty, pretty new from Regal, I think. And then we have knowledges and you get regularly research points which you can spend into a specific knowledge and they all give you a very huge boost but for every knowledge that you acquire one other knowledge will become more difficult to learn and once uh, that will be randomly selected from all other knowledges and once a knowledge that is hard to learn becomes selected once more it will even be discarded so you cannot learn that knowledge anymore this will of course make give you gives the game a lot of replay value so let's see what do they do for example archery and you can see it gives you a bonus to power draw and horse archery it also increases archery mastery like weapon proficiency i don't know exactly what this means i haven't been able to check this it allows to recruit troops using bows that is actually a thing from regal a leftover because in Regal you could build custom settlements and if you had this you would be able to recruit special troops in your settlements and with bows right and this co 
cost 700 research points and that will of course increase so a lot of very nice skills available and then we have strategic options your honor is too high for bandits to show themselves for recruitment so you can actually try to recruit bandits if you have low honor and gather my party and warn that we are need to rush and then you can speed up uh, but that will make your party that will increase fatigue for your party yes we have fatigue in this in this game and I guess you can already know what sneaking does exploring helps you to spot special farming areas like what I what we saw a hunting ground hunting grounds or mining spots and ambush is actually, yes, a special ambush that, that is really actually possible. You will get a special ambush map that is strategically good for you. And with one tool, with several tools, I can build fortifications. And special party options is also new. You can sing a song to your men. And what song will you choose? And this is also from Regal. This is actually very nice. So in the beginning, um, this is, of course, um, uh, depend. The, this skill is bound to the uh, knowledge, uh, to the skill in singing, which is still very low, I think, what I have. But still, let's go with experience. And as you can see, the success teaches you eight skill points, uh, eight skill XP, and you raise your skill by one point. And actually, if you fail. You can also um, yes. If you fail, you can also get experience, so that is very nice. And this is Parisno concepts. Oh, that's a lot to read. Um, I think you can read that yourself. I will not. I will not record a one-hour video reading all of this except if you really want me to and yes so um, as you can see there are a lot of factions we have the redwood the elves Reis Dahan, and what is also what wasn't mentioned the realm of the falcon which is like um, a paladin faction the Kaikoth confederation is are the dwarves actually who are still rather passive and need some kind of tweaking to actually participate last I remember from Perisno 0.73 and the Valahir clan is yes as you can see Aetling there are the Nord faction and the Makavia I think they are also very similar to to the Turanians just a little bit different <laughs> yes and there is fatigue so we got to be careful about that uh, especially because my wandering skill is very very low wandering skill and also camping skill will be important and yes so the first thing I want to do is get to a safe place and uh, higher Oh, I have very good skills. The manual of arms is what boosts my training. And a very bad horse. I am in need, in sore need of better equipment. And yes, I'm very, very fast. And I have a lot of money. Wow, I have a lot of money. I think that will change. Maybe later, I think this is right now a little bit boosted because it's still a test version and there's quite a lot going on and if, as you can see there's a lot of nice additions to the tavern that makes it a lot more immersive. Very cool. Book Merchant, let's see what you have for sale. And with the money I have, I could actually get a lot of things.
let me check uh, my trading is six so actually that is already very very powerful I could use something to increase my trading right in the beginning although I think it would be better just to buy an enterprise here and or no actually I should use the money to hire everyone and who are you a Lindell hello my friend care to join me for a drink of course, what is it you want to discuss? I shall tell you my story. I used to be this land's foremost and best physician. I have healed and tended to four Draharan Emirs, three Hakoni lords, one Torinian duke, and even the Reich prince himself. Those who were my glory days. I made tons of Aurum, and people from all nations begged me to heal them. I did so with pleasure, of course. Aurum is, of course, if you don't know, the, re the replacement for the Denars. So, the money, the gold. I may be old now, but far from useless. I can treat your men when they are wounded and treat you as well. We will need a healer, but you need to be able to fight as well. I am a surgeon, not some silk-robed university physician who has never touched a body. I can get my hands dirty. I have treated every variety of wound that can be inflicted by the hand of man. Before I was a surgeon, I was a student, so you may be sure that I have inflicted wounds as well as healed them. Then welcome to our company. I will gladly join you, but I will need a small amount of money to buy medicine. Could you lend me uh, 18,000 Aurums? That is insane. Insane. And then there I thought I had a lot of money. <laughs> um, I wonder how much enterprises are going to cost. And Oh, 7,000 for Diaworks and it will give me 138. Let's compare 766. It's not that worse. Grapes. Tannery. Wine. Wine also gives a lot of money. Ironworks 712. Huh, we have a lot of pretty lucrative businesses that give a lot more and cost less to invest. But the best thing is still the dye works, so I will buy the dye works and see if there's a mission that may, may be of interest to me. Nope, I am incapable of doing that yet. And uh, as you can see, we have here extra options. You can go to the crafters' workshops, but well, you need tools and of course the skills. So here you can craft wood things, leather things, and so on. When if you want to learn skills, you go to the guilds. And yes, which town has which guilds uh, is pretty much random, so that is also very interesting pretty fun and I have already companion teachings and you arrive at the Bardism, Bardism Guild your guild rank is companion well I have very high guild rank but my skills are very bad a skill of one and I think it goes up to 30 and uh, that's a lot of things you can do and you can actually hire some novices some novices who will increase your performance if you want to perform and you must be a master in this guild to give lessons yes and you can turn in tools for denars and xp right i like to like i would like to use my bardic skills and yes this is what you can do an easy task but not rewarding and it was a failure but I still gain XP so that's not too bad let's see how a tournament looks like I will have no chance because I have no power strike at all so let's see and there are some special guys here as you can see tell the wonder Keller the Amazon fighter the journey sir oh this is pretty interesting I I don't know whether they are from Paris now or whether there are some new ones from I don't know Phosphor or Regal and oh that is a pretty cool map I don't think I've seen this map before uh. 
Very interesting. Yes, of course. <laughs> a pity, I'm not a very good fighter at this moment, so I cannot show you the tournaments. Right, so let's leave. And there's actually Emperor Hakon the second, so let's talk to him and see if he has a job for us. Oh my gosh, the girls here are all gorgeous. I should, I should play a man. <laughs> Emperor Hakon. I'm Emperor Hakon the second. It is not often that I meet a woman who aspires to lead an <laughs> unrecognized token into battle. Okay. Do you have any tasks for me? A message to Ekam Burhalad, whoever that is. Oh, of course, okay, so let's look for some companions. And oh, I have no idea of directions at the moment. Uh, yes, I think this is the right dir direction. Welcome to Perisno Adventurer. You will soon find that this mod is a bit harder than native brings you brings you to an entirely new world. Currently the year is 365. You are just one of the thousands of men and women out there who seek to change the future. Right. I am very very fast. Gur Alad. Still, let's talk to him. What have we here? Woman comparison for war. Well, I dare say that one as far as you could lend a touch of femininity even to a male hauberk. You could add a touch of humanity to your horse's harness, but just a touch. Ha! Huh. I admire a quick tongue. Perhaps I shall remove it with tongues to admire it at greater leisure, but today at least I shall salute your wit and courage. He seems pretty dishonorable. <laughs> pretty... Yes, pretty dangerous guy. So first let's ask Hakon Buralat is currently at Durin Castle. Hey, love, have you ever been in love? I, I have fallen for a lady. I saw Lady Sulaha at a banquet not long ago and I thought of little else since. I must know if she feels the same way. Will you deliver this message for me? So this is a new quest. It is from Perusno and that is pretty fun. Gladly I will carry your message. I appreciate it, Sabina. Uh, there's just one small snack. I'm not a literary man. And I suspect this type of thing is beyond me. You will have to help me write the note. Hmm, let's see. How do you think I should start it off? I was thinking either Greetings Wench or My Love My Darling. I hunger for your touch. Right. So we have a choice of these three things. I actually have no idea how this works. I've never gotten the letters to succeed so far. Uh, but I did not have a lot of persuasion. Perhaps with my high persuasion. Uh, yes. Let's do it. Very passionate. My love, my darling, I hunger for your love. Uh, excellent, I like it. Now what next? I could not help but notice your bustle at the ball. Your fragile beauty excites my desires. Or I admire a woman with some meat in her bones. Well, I could not help but notice your bustle at the ball. Wonderful, truly a masterpiece. And to, co to conclude on a high note, how about I in truth I love you more than my own horse, no? Well, what about your beauty dazzles me like glare of the sun on an enemy shield? Ah, I like that one. Uh, maybe your noble mien evokes a subtle mystery. I appreciate your help. Here's the letter and some money to cover your travel expenses. Haha, how can she resist? Very funny, very interesting. 
Who is Lady Sulaha anyway? <laughs> Lady Sulaha. She already has a husband, <laughs> and she's fifty-eight. <sighs> Did I see Lady Sulaha in Amawa? I can go there. Well, I'm very fast, so I don't need to worry about anything. Sahara Kalisa. I want to look. No location of someone. Lady. Sulaha is currently in Arish. Where is Arish? Show on map. Ooh, this is pretty pretty far away. But I'm very fast, why not? Run! Run, Savina, run! Let's not run into any robbers. I'm not much of a fighter yet. It's a good thing that I have a little bit spotting and oh yes, very nice. Ako na is at your service. We've had that. He responds pretty much the same way. A villain. Then I will hunt him down. And pretty nice. We also have Freelancer. The Freelancer mod here that is also in Parisno. And as you can see, we have a very a new town icon that is pretty beautiful. You come across a man lying on the ground, minus and obviously wounded. What will you do? I will try to attend his wounds, but I have zero in doctoring. Uh, he will probably die. And yes, critical failure. The old man dies in your arms. Better luck next time, maybe. But I still gain, gain some experience points. And we are in a new city, so I can try to perform again. And that was a failure again. As you can see, there is a new feature here that some of you may not know. It's from Regal. So all the marketplaces have less items usually, but then sometimes there is a great fair going on. And the merchants will have plenty of objects and money and eight fair days remaining. And the great thing is that the items will refresh, I think, um, three times a day even and that's excellent equipment here almost magical stuff the crossbows have a lot of strength requirement I will not be able to do anything with those. What is this? Thick soldier's enchantment. Are helmets enabled? Oh, I cannot wear any of the helmets. Well, I can wear this one. It is rather costly though. I wonder what this is. Huh. This is actually really cool and it does not have any strength requirement and leaves my pretty face available for seeing. Now I have a feeling that this is a pretty rare thing and I'm afraid that I will not be able to have a second chance to find such an item. So I think I will just buy it. Enchantment sounds really, really rare. <laughs> so let's get it enchantment. And the thick leather gloves are... Meh. Hardened or thickened are better. Um, I will get a lame sumpter horse to help me carry some things. 
And huh, the horses are quite different. Prices and stats. Okay, guilds. Let's see what guilds are here. There are no guilds with which I can start out well, so I will leave that. Ooh. Oh no. Um. Let's try fight him. He will drop a nice sword actually. If I can win, oh gosh, I will gonna I'm going to lose. Okay, let's try. Oh, well, with high persuasion you can actually persuade him not to attack you. That is pretty pretty new. And he just keeps running away. Hmm, okay, I think this is a little bit of a bug. I cannot leave the conversation, probably because, and I cannot fight or kill him now, huh? Yes, so I will leave like this, save and exit, load. Okay, I'm back. What? Again? Okay, let's... Yes, that's how you lose. And, um, yes, I did probably... He didn't take any money. But still, I am in low health. Okay, so that's a bit of a problem, because when your health is very low, if it's like... Uh, regal then your movement will be slowed quite a bit oh well I can still move very fast but as you can see uh, from 13 I'm down to 8 so there's still a big difference a rogue bandit party has been spotted wandering the countryside What's that? You you have a letter from Hakon Salah Eldur. Let me see. Oh my, what a strange man. Did that poltroon really write this or... He got one of his stable hands to scrawl it. I have never been so insulted. If you see Hakon Salah Eldur, please tell him to keep his distance. Oof. Well, she's quite a looker for being 58. <laughs> Ooh. A lot of people would be jealous of her looks. Right, so we didn't find any... That's Buralad. Pretty cool. Came by him by chance. Okay. Bring a message. He has nothing to do for me. The Sooth Slavers. Let's avoid them. And I hope that we... Ukundu Scouts. Oh, this, this is already the... A different... The Drahara. You are in a desert. Wandering success, you travel very well. Do you have need for mercenaries? Oh my gosh, that's what I call expensive. Even though she looks really, really awesome. Strong blue striped war bow. Pretty cool. I would want a new weapon actually. And everything is just expensive.
Yeah, for now I will refrain and will look for some companions. And oh, there's actually Marcus. You there, Gobra man, be so kind as to fetch me another drink, huh? Sorry, sir, but I'm not your cabin keeper and less even a servant. I'm sorry, I'm unfamiliar to the customs of you Easterners. I am from Makavia. Would you like to hear my story? I used to be a Makavia noble and the most vigorous supporter of the new god's cause. The king, Agatha Rex, cast me out and disbanded my entire army because of my status. He feared I would become powerful enough to take his throne, which was very possible. Only a twist of fate made me lose it. Now I have nothing. I wish to offer my sword to someone worthy like you. Will you let me join you? Perhaps you would like to join my company for a while. I would very much like that, madame. I am a gentleman and prefer to fight with certain lands. I recognize that you are of lower birth than I. There is no shame for me to serve an unexperienced captain. Presuming, of course, that your followers do not become too familiar with me. I assume that will not be a problem. Well, it shouldn't be. I'll have a talk with them. Ah, uh, that's very really good of you. Before I join, can you lend me 8,000 orums so that I can buy some proper clothing that befits a gentleman of noble birth such as myself? The coat on me has been worn down badly due to my recent bad fortune and I cannot let common soldiers mistake me as one of their own. Well, he looks pretty dignified already. Ah, <sighs> Nothing to do with 8,000 and let's see. Herbal Rooster is actually pretty good. Give me some training here, novice training. If my guild rank is unranked. Dangerous criminals. Your party's tiring, get some rest. Congratulations, I am now a recruit, but my uh, a novice, but my skill is still very low. Let's take a companion lesson right away. And oh, we actually have deer running around. I did not know that. Critical failure? Oh my. Start begging? No. Let's wait here a little bit and rest until we are well rested. The party is totally rested and will move faster for a few hours. Very nice. Car Raiders and there's Udi Stein. Udi Stein. Are there some companions I can get? Some affordable ones. The name doesn't really sound like someone I can afford. Unshoved in the Phantom. Hello, madam. I'm the, in, the one in charge of setting out the Haran faction mercenaries. Greetings, sir. What type of mercenaries might I be able to hire? Shadow Guard Masoru Warlord Interesting Checking the guilds and yes, yeah, so let's train a little bit, invest a little bit of money. Okay, I'm now a novice in medic, and there was also hunting is pretty good as well. 
And it cost me only 100 orums. And my party is rested. Very good. Any new people in the tavern? Nope, I didn't think so. And after 24 hours I can uh, try again. And this time it was a success. Very nice. And right now I can't leave, so I will need to do this. This is actually an issue that has... That has... That has been inherited from Regal and I have gained a level actually. That is pretty nice. Increase pathfinding even further and let's see if I can increase... What else can I increase? Should I increase? Hmm. Pathfinding and I actually am interested in spotting five, but first, uh, wound treatment is probably more important at this moment. The village of Maviti. Okay, let's just do that quest. Now the question is, where is Maviti? And oh, I completely forgot that there's one feature from Regal. So let's take a look and let's go into this village. As you can see, each village has a specialty and sometimes they don't have specialty. But you gain experience by reaching any unknown location for the first time. And some villages have specialties allowing you to buy or sell some special items at a cheaper price or more expensive. And sometimes their specialty may even be like um, trained troops. And if you find one of these areas for the first time, you also gain experience. Very nice. And if you have tools, you can actually try to harvest something. So maybe what I should do is to get some tools actually, uh, go to the marketplace. And of course nobody has tools here. <laughs> wow, I'm foraging enough that I'm not consuming any of my fish. And. I already checked the tavern, did I? Yes, I did. Okay, time to leave and then we will need to find another town. And there are probably Torreina. Oh, there's a big war going on, I think. But I'm still just a uh, poor, all be very beautiful and intelligent young woman. And here, the specialty of this village is its well-trained and equipped troops. And if you click this, you can hire Torrainan veteran footmen for 100 gold per footman. So that is a pretty cool feature. And of course I get the experience. And I'm almost tempted to actually hire some troops, so I so I actually have some people. But it's not like I will be able to do anything against these guys. Again, no specialty. I love this feature from Brigal because it will actually make practically every um, can I help out? I don't know who if the Chiron will be able to beat the demon worshippers. I'd rather not risk it. Boar herd. 
The specialty of this village is to buy pottery for a good price. That's pretty cool. And I gain another level. Very nice. Let's see if I can get some boar meat. That will help me a little bit with my starting finances. I am at least on a horse, but I don't see any boar. This was actually a feature from Britain Walder, I think. The hunting feature and Parisna has taken it over also. I've seen this in 0.73. Okay, well I guess this video has gone on for quite a while. I will continue uh the well, exploring the world of Perisno with Phosphor in the next video. But for now I will busy myself in this video by hunting some boars who are rather fast. They keep running even though I'm still very very far away that is of course not really helping and it seems like they're very tough that one took my bolt and is still alive and that was a point-blank miss oh wow talk about tough at least they're not attacking my horse or me for that matter and throwing rocks there I wonder if I can reach him with my sword I'm really rather low I can reach him but the damage is pathetic Why am I missing? And that's a horse sound. <laughs> and okay, I lost sight of the other boars, unfortunately. Oh no, I caught one. Alright, last one. Oh, damn it. Alright, very nice. I think though that was all five of them. And I find some fur cloak. That is actually pretty nice. But it's worse than this thick soldier's enchantment. Huh. They are still fighting and oh other deserters have joined them. This seems to be rather dangerous. Outlaw mercenary band warband. At least no one's bothering me. 
And yes, this is also from Regal. There's an epidemic going on here. Well, I did learn a little bit of medic skill, so let's try and fight this. I will warn the people low risk, low impact, low fatigue, low rewards, low knowledge. Yes. Risk is about that you can actually get sick. But since I'm all alone, I think I can just try this. I don't have a lot of weekly wages, so yes. Oh, I wanted to end the video, so I will do so as soon as the first I get the first report of this. Hmm, the feature doesn't really seem to work. Usually, you should be getting some regular income from similar to when you collect taxes what about warning people oh there seems there seems to be nothing happening really Oh well, what a pity. Let's end this video now and see what the, the world of Perizno holds in store for us and the features of Regal and some new Phosphor features maybe that G Sanders has implemented. So see you next time. Bye bye.